Hello everyone, this is William here, and welcome back to the Will Trains videos, and I'm going to play Minecraft again. Today we are going to build is the Central Railroad of New Jersey Blue Comet G3462 Pacific. This was based on a G3 class 462 Pacific type steam locomotive built by Baldwin Locomotive Works in 1928. Only the three engines were introduced. Then on February 17, 1929, it presented a passenger service called the Blue Comet. The first thing that passengers would notice about this train was the paint scheme. Blue for the clear skies and the stripes from the coaches for the sands of the beaches. But sadly, the Blue Comet passenger service was slower and increasingly out of date. So the service made its final run on September 27, 1941. And as for the G3 classes, they still continued service until between 1954 and 1955. They were retired from service and scrapped. Alright, that's about it of the history. It was requested by for my videos, so here it is. And as you can see, I put a lot of details into this model, including some handrails on both sides of the boiler. And I had some details over here. And I had some details on both sides of the tender. And I had the interior of the driver's cab. It looks pretty good. And it came with eight coaches for this engine. So here we have is the baggage car combined car, four extra passenger cars, the diner car, and the observation car. And that's what it looks like of this passenger set. So after the engine, I will do the Central Railroad of New Jersey Blue Comet baggage car in the next video. Alright, that's about it. Let's get start building. So first, we're going to start adding front and trailing wheels using block of lapis lazuli. So you're going to put two here, skip two, and put two here. And you're going to skip one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Then put two here. Next, we're going to use another brick slab to put above of the wheels. And you're going to start here and skip two and delete one. Next, we're going to use dark prismarine slab. Put three here, put two here, and put three here going to put two here and delete one. On the other side, put two here and delete one. Next, we're going to use dark prismarine stairs. Put three here, and put one here, and put one here, and put one here. On the other side, put one here, put one here, and put one here. Next thing we're going to use is stone bricks. So we're going to start here and put three out of 12. And on the middle, you're going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then you're going to put five blocks here. On the other side, put five blocks here. And we're going to add a second layer. So we're going to start here and skip one and put three out of 12. And on the middle, you're going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And on the side, you're going to put seven blocks here, skip three, 
input one here, skip three, input one here, and at the very back, put one right here. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And again, we're going to add another layer on top. So we're going to start here at the front and skip two. And you're going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty blocks long. Next, we're going to add a driving wheels using block of lapis lazuli. So you're going to put four here, put four here, and put four here. Next, we're going to make curves using warped stairs. Put two here, and put two here. Two here, and put two here, put two here, and put two here. Next, on each three holes, you're going to put three here using smooth stone. On the other side, we're going to do the same thing. Next, we're going to use nether brick stairs put between of the driving wheels, like that. On the other side, put between of the driving wheels, like that. And on the back, you're going to put two here, using nether brick slab. Next, at the front, we're going to use block of lapis lazuli. Put two out of six. Next, we're going to use dark prismarine. Put two here. Next, you're going to put dark prismarine stairs here. Next, you're going to put three here using dark prismarine slab. Next thing we're going to use is warped slab. So on the side, you're going to put two here one here, and put one here, and put two here. Next, we're going to use warped stairs. Put one here, put one here, put one here, and put two here. Next, we're going to use block of lapis lazuli. Put two of two, and put one here back, put three here. Next, we're going to use dark prismarine. We're going to skip one and put three here and put two here. Next, we're going to use dark prismarine slab. So we're going to skip one and you're going to put five blocks here and then put two here put two here. Next, we're going to use dark prismarine stairs. Put one here, put one here, and put three here. On the other side, we're going to do the same thing. At the very front, 
we're going to add a cow catcher using warped stairs. So put two of them on both sides and then put one on the middle. Next, we're going to use warped fence. Put two here, put one here, and put two here. Next, at the trailing wheels, you're going to put one here using the hopper. On the other side, we're going to do the same thing. Next, over here, you're going to put two here using the brick wall. All right, next part, we're going to add side rods, starting with lock of quartz, quartz stairs, quartz slab, and iron trapdoor. So first, over here, you're going to put two block of quartz. Next, we're going to use quartz stairs, put two here, and skip three, and one here and put one here. Next, we're going to use quartz slab. Put three here, and put four here. And next, we're going to use iron trapdoor. Put one here, and put three here. On the other side, we're going to do the same thing. Then at the front, we're going to add coupling rod using block of redstone and a piston. So put a block of redstone in here and then put a piston in here. All right, now we finished the undercarriage for the engine. Now the next step is going to be the boiler and the driver's cab. But first, we're going to build the boiler starting with smooth stone. So you're going to put three out of nine, and put one here, and on both sides, put three here, and put three here. Next, we're going to use polish and the side stairs, put three here, and put two here. On the other side, put three here, and put two here. Next, we're going to use block of lapis lazuli, put one here, put one here, and put one here. Next, we're going to use warped slab, put one here, put one here, and put three on top. Next, over here, we're going to use warped planks, so you're going to put three here, and put two here, skip two, and put three here, and put two here, skip three, and put three here, and put two here, skip three, and put two out of six, and put one here, skip two, and put two here, and put two out of six. Next, we're going to use block of lapis lazuli. So you're going to put two out of six. And put three here. Put three here. And you're going to put three out of nine. And put three here. And put three here. And put three out of nine. Put three here, and put three here, and put three here, and put two here, and put two out of six, and put two here. Next, we're going to use warped stairs. So on the bottom, you're going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you're going to put one right here. And on top, you're going to put one here. And put one here. And you're 
means it puts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And put one right here. And do the same thing on the other side. Next, at the very top of the boiler, we're going to use warped slab. We're going to start here on the middle and put one here, skip five, and put one here, skip six, and put one here. Over here, we're still going to use warped slab. We're going to start here on this side and skip two and put two here, skip one and put three here, skip one and put five here and put four here. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. At the firebox, you're going to put block of lapis lazuli in here. All right, we are finished the boiler. Now we can move on to build the driver's cab, starting with block of lapis lazuli. So you're going to put three here. Skip one and put two here. Next, you're going to put warped stairs here. Next, you're going to put one here using dark prismarine. Next, we're going to use dark prismarine stairs. So you're going to put one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Next, we're going to add a roof using dark prismarine slab. So you're going to put one, two, three, four, five, six. And you're going to skip three and delete two. And on both sides, you're going to put six here and put six here. All right, the next part will be the details for the engine, starting with N rod would be handrails. So you're going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And you're going to put one here and put three here and delete one and put one here and put two here and delete one. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Next, we're going to use skeleton skull. Will be some lights. Put two here. Next, we're going to use warped trapdoor. Put two here. Put three here, and put one here, and do the same thing on the other side. At the front, put five here. On top, put two here, and put one on the side, and put two here. Next, we're going to use warped fence gate. Put one here, put one here, and put one here. And do the same thing on the other side. Next, on top of the boiler, we're going to use the bell. So we're going to start here and skip two and put one here. Next, you're going to put arc fence on the side. That will be the whistle. Next thing we're going to use is arc button. Put two here. These will be safety valves. Next, we're going to use warped button. So on the side, you're going to put three here. And put three here. And put three here. And put two here. 
one here, and put one here, and put one here, and put two here. On the other side, we're going to do the same thing. At the front wheels, we're going to use stone button. Put two here. On the other side, put two here. Next, at the front, we're going to use item frame. Put one here. Next, you're going to use sea lantern and put it in the item frame. That will be the headlight. Next, we're going to use branch sign. Put two of them on both sides of the headlight and put one right here. These will be number plates and put one here. This will be the blue comet name and over here you're going to put two of them on both sides of the cab. These will be number plates. Next we're going to add windows of the cab using black stained glass paint. And next, right behind it, we're going to use the ladder. Put three here, and put three here. All right, now we finished the outside. Now the next step is going to be the inside of the driver's cab. So first, over here, you're going to put the block inside the firebox. Why? Well, you had to put the block here, because next we're going to use is arc trapdoor. It will be the firebox door. And then you're going to delete the block. And after you delete the block, you're going to replace this campfire. Like that. Next, we're going to use item frame. Put three here. And next, you're going to use the compass and put it in each item frames. Next, we're going to use the lever. Put three here. Put two of them on both sides. Next, you're going to put two of them on both sides using stone button. And at the very back, we're going to add lights on both sides using lantern. Next, we're going to use another brick wall. Put two here. And next, we're going to use stone brick stairs. It will be the driver's seats. All right, now we finished the driver's cab. And at the very back from the outside, we're going to add final touches for this engine, starting with stone bricks. So you're going to put one here, and next we're going to use stone brick stairs. Put one here, that will be connecting the tender. And then put one right here, that will be the platform. And then put two of them on both sides. Next. We're going to use and rod, put two here. On the other side, put two here. And next, we're going to use stone button, put two of them on both sides. All right, that takes care of the engine. Now let's do the tender. Just like the engine, we're going to start adding wheels using block of lapis lazuli. So we're going to start here behind the trailing wheels and skip one, two, three, four. And put two here. Skip two and put two here. And you're going to skip one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And put two here. Skip two and put two here. Next, we're going to use another brick slab to put above the wheels. Next, we're going to use block of lapis lazuli. So on this side, you're going to put one here. On the other end, put one here. Next, we're going to use warped stairs. Put one here. On the other end, put two here. 
Next, we're going to use dark prismarine slab. Put two here, and put four here, and delete two. On the other end, put two here, and put four here, and delete two. Next, we're going to use dark prismarine stairs. Put two here. On the other end, put two here. Next, we're going to use the hopper. Put two here. On the other end, put two here. On the other side, we're going to do the same thing. Next thing we're going to use is stone bricks. So on this end, you're going to put five blocks here. On the other side, put five blocks here. On the middle, put four blocks here. On the other end, you're going to put three out of 15. And we're going to add a second layer. So we're going to start here and put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And again, we're going to add another layer on top. So we're going to start here and put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Skip one and put one here. Next, at the center, we're going to use block of lapis lazuli. So you're going to put one on the middle. Next, you're going to put two of them on both sides using warped stairs. Next, you're going to put two nether brick walls here. Next, we're going to use nether brick fence. Put two here. Next, we're going to use warped slab. Put five here. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And on the middle, you're going to put two in the brick fence here. Like that. Next, at the front of the tender, we're going to use another brick wall. Put two here. And put two here. And on the back, we're going to add a coupling rod using block of redstone and a piston. So put a block of redstone in here, and then put a piston in here. And over here, you're going to put three blocks here using black concrete. Next thing we're going to use is block of lapis lazuli. So on this side, we're going to start here and skip one and put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen blocks long. And we're going to add a second layer. So you're going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip one and put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And again, we're going to add another layer. So we're going to fill it all the way across right here. And on top for the another layer, we're going to start here and skip one and put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks long. On the other side, we're going to do the same thing. Over here, we're going to start here and skip one and put two here and put three here. And right behind it, you're going to skip one, two, three, four, five. 
and puts two out of six. And at the back, you're going to put three out of nine. Next, we're going to use Dark Prismarine. So put one here. On the other side, put one here. And over here, you're going to put one, two, three, four. Skip one and put one here. Next, we're going to use Warped Stairs. Put two here. Put three here. And put two here. Next, we're going to use Warped Slab. So you're going to put eight blocks here. And put five blocks here. On the other side, put five blocks here. And put eight blocks here. And put three here. And put two on the side. Next, we're going to fill it in using block of coal. And you're going to put two here, and put one here, and put three here, and put two here. Okay, so the next part, we're going to start connecting between the front of the tender and the back of the engine, starting with stone bricks. So you're going to put one here. Next, we're going to use stone brick stairs. One here. That will be connecting the tender. And you're going to put one here and put two of them on both sides. That will be the platform and put two of them on both sides. Next, we're going to use the end rod. Put two here. On the other side, put two here. Next, over here, we're going to use warped stairs. Put two here. Next, you're going to put warped slab here. Next, we're going to use stone button. Put two here. And next, we're going to put is the lever. Okay, next, we're going to add final touches for the tender is details. So first, we're going to use stone button, put two here. On the other end, put two here. And over here, you're going to skip one and put two here. On the other side, you're going to skip one and put two here. On top, you're going to put three here. Skip one and put three here. Skip one and put three here. Next, we're going to use warped button. So on this side, we're going to start here and put three here. Skip one and put three here. Skip one and put three here. Skip one and put four 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 here. Skip one and put three here. And do the same thing on the other side. On the back, put three here and put three here. Next, we're going to use the ladder. So on this end, put two of them on both sides. On the other end, put two of them on both sides. And put three of them on the side. Next, over here, you're going to put warped fence gate here. Next, you're going to put one here using warped fence. Next, we're going to use Iron Trapdoor, put three here. Next, at the very back, you're going to put is Warped Trapdoor. Next thing we're going to use is Item Frame, put one here. Next, 
you're going to use C Lantern and put in the item frame. That will be the reverse light. And finally, the last thing you're going to use is branch sign. Put two of them on both sides. These will be the New Jersey Central logos. And on the back, put one here. That will be the number plate. All right, that's about it. How to build the Central Railroad of New Jersey Blue Comet G3462 Pacific. Anyways, if you like this video, make sure to give me a like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you enjoyed the Will Trains videos and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.